Meanwhile, new this morning, new numbers from the county show COVID cases in the South Bay are still the highest in the region, but two zip codes along the border also have some of the highest vaccination numbers in San Diego. We wanted to find out how those two numbers can happen at the same time. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons takes an in-depth look at those numbers and what they really mean. From border shutdowns to overcrowded clinics, dealing with COVID and its impact has become a way of life along the San Diego-Mexico border. Throughout the pandemic, a lot of these communities that um, you know are closer to in the south region of the San Diego County area and closer to the border have been disproportionately affected by COVID-19. Adriana Burst with San Ysidro Health says they've been working tirelessly to fight the pandemic, but new numbers show the border region is still a COVID hotspot. According to county data released Wednesday, the zip codes 92173 and 92154, which make up San Ysidro and Otay Mesa, have the highest 14-day COVID case rate in the county at more than 242 cases per 100,000 people. It's shocking because those two zip codes also have two of the highest vaccination rates in San Diego. County data shows the 92173 zip code is over 99.9% .9 fully vaccinated, ranked first in the county. 92154 has an 86% vaccination rate, fourth best. At first sight, these two numbers certainly don't agree with each other. Dr. Hai Shao is the infectious disease specialist at Sharp Chula Vista. He says the number discrepancy is misleading because the vaccine rate is cumulative over the last year, while case rate is more like a snapshot of the current situation. Another explanation requires a deeper dive into some of the numbers. In San Ysidro, the county says there are 40,181 people fully vaccinated, even though census data says the total population is just a shade over 27,000. Experts believe that may be because people who live in Tijuana but work in the U.S. may have used that zip code when they got the vaccine. Still, Xiao thinks all the data shows vaccine immunity wanes over time and people in the area need booster shots. Their immunity may not be as good as they were in the spring. As a result, these people are becoming more and more vulnerable to the new infections. That's a problem because many people in the South Bay live in multi-generational homes or serve as essential workers in high contact jobs. Factors such as these are increasing their risk levels when it comes to COVID-19, and that's something that we've seen really throughout the pandemic. Burst says booster outreach has become the newest tool for San Ysidro Health to keep COVID at bay. We really want to try to just reach as many people as possible. And for Dr. Shao, the South Bay case rates serve as a warning to stay vigilant, especially as new variants appear. During this time, people cannot afford to be complacent. That's the key. Get yourself vaccinated. In the South Bay, Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. We have put a link to all of the county's latest COVID data on our website, 10news.com.